Hello everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and we're back with another edition of American Minuteman gear. And today's piece of gear is the antenna kit. Uh, I built this kit to build field expedient antennas. Uh, you know, we kind of do have a love-hate relationship with radios, and there are times when you might need to use a radio to message a long way uh, beyond what your uh, handheld can potentially do just on its own. So this allows you to build a field expedient antenna, such as a jungle antenna, and rig that up so that uh, you can then you know reach those longer distances or set something up in the event after a natural disaster or whatever. Anytime you would want to build a field expedient antenna for whatever it is that you're doing, this is the kit that you can build fairly cheap, honestly, uh, on your own. So I'll have some links down to Amazon below and uh, let's go through it and see what we got. Okay, all in the kit is pretty simple. Uh, this is just some kind of canvas-like bag that I just labeled, uh, which I'm sure you can probably read here, right? I just labeled antenna kit, so I know what it is. Um, and everything fits inside this, this bag here, and this is probably about, I don't know, four or five inches by like nine or 10 inches, so it fits inside a ruck pretty well, uh, which is nice, because you know again, this needs to be transportable, right? So we have the bag. I have two Cobra heads, uh, which are used for building the antenna. You only need one, but I have two in here because they came in a pack of two and I don't have two antenna kits yet, so they both uh, go in here. Also, you know, that way if you lose one, one breaks, whatever. Uh, I have a small thing of paracord and some zip ties. Uh, this I just had lying around from somewhere. I don't even know where this came from. Uh, and zip ties, and this is for assembling uh, or tying together sticks. Like on a jungle antenna, you know, you build a triangle base. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry. We're gonna do a video on a jungle antenna. And I might have already posted it by the time this comes out. But uh, this is just for zip tying the base of sticks together. Or if for whatever reason that didn't work, I have some extra paracord to be able to do that. Uh, the thing I don't have in here is paracord in order to hoist a antenna up into a tree because uh, I always carry paracord on me separately, just like a hank of 50 feet. So that's what that would be used for. I don't need to double up on that in here, but a bunch of zip ties to put sticks together, some paracord if that doesn't work. And it looks like I already lost it, but I did have in here a credit card with some tape wrapped around it um, in case we need to put some tape on it, right? So it's an easy, cheap way to, cheap way to carry tape so that uh, you know, we have it in the kit and it fits in there. And uh, like I said, I already lost that it looks like, so I'm gonna have to replace that. Uh, this is the wire that's used to build the antenna. This is just cheap uh, aluminum wire. It's bare, uh, it's not coated. So, you know, anything it touches will contact. Um, and I just chose this because it's the most affordable option and it's disposable and I don't really care if I never see it again. So. Uh, for insulators, you know, you got to insulate the ends of your antenna. This is just a plastic bag that came in some shipping thing. So it's just a piece of plastic bag inside a plastic bag so that uh, I will just use that for my insulator, right? Just a bunch of plastic that will act as that. You don't need to buy insulators. You could, but I just, again, just use a plastic bag that I carry with me. And realistically, you could probably find some kind of field expedient insulator. So you don't necessarily need to carry some. I just do because I thought it weighs nothing and it's easy. Uh, tape measure. Uh, this is just a fold over like cloth tape measure. And I uh, just put a um, ranger band on it to hold it all together. But this, of course, to measure out the length of my antenna. Now this goes to like 10 feet. I don't think I'll need that. Um, but, uh, you know, I don't want to, I could just trim this to like, you know, 36 inches or something like that if I really wanted to really be minute about weight. But I didn't, I just went with this, so that's what I got. And then lastly, lastly, this is a um, coax cable with a BNC connector so that I can plug one end into my antenna and then I can plug another end into my Cobra head and then this attaches to the wire and then we're set to go. So all in, pretty simple. Oh, lastly, calculator because you need to calculate you know, your formulas to cut the wire to the correct length, right? To cut the wire, we're just gonna use our multi-tool because you carry that anyway. So this is just the extra pieces that are needed in order to build that field expedient antenna. If your team uses radios or plans to use radios to communicate with other groups or, or try to reach across greater distances, then I think it's probably a good idea that one guy in your crew has an antenna kit and then we know how to use it, which like I said, we'll cover in a different video. And I know I said this before, but I will have an affiliate link down below into Amazon to get some of these items to put into your kit if this is something you so desire to build. Hope that's helpful. Hope that gives you some thoughts.
Do brave deeds and endure.